Hi, welcome to Bakes and Blenders. I'm Colleen. Today we're going to be going over how to make an abstract cake with buttercream and palette knives. It's super easy but looks so beautiful. So if you want to learn how to do this, get your cake, get some buttercream, and anything extra you want to decorate your cake with, and let's get started. I added a little bit of Chef Master Fuchsia and Super Red to my raspberry buttercream in order to get the shades that I'm using on this cake. Start with a very cold cake, that way when you press your palette knives up against the buttercream, you're not going to dent that gorgeous final coat that you worked so hard to get. You only need a small amount of frosting on your palette knife, then spread it onto the cake until you have the coverage or texture that you like. In the description box below, you'll see a link to the recipe for this raspberry buttercream and the chocolate cake. Now I'm going to chill my cake so that I can build up the layers without smudging my first bit of work. Once your first layer of buttercream splotches, that's the technical term, uh, once those are firm, from being in the fridge, you can take your cake back out and add some more. We're going to build up some more layers and fill in some of those gaps to create texture and interest for our abstract cake. You can use a variety of palette knives to get different looks. I bought my set from Amazon for just a few dollars. I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to find the same set. But I have found a plastic set at Dollar Tree before. So shop around, they're very cheap. Now it's time to decorate, yay! I'm going to be using edible gold leaf and small sprinkles to jazz up my abstract buttercream cake. I'll put links below in the description box to the products that I'm using. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Gold leaf can be finicky to work with. Sometimes it's easiest to just press it up onto the cake and it will stick and other times you need to use a paintbrush to kind of press it on and I put links again below to the paintbrush and the gold leaf that I'm using. Since my buttercream is cold, I'm using just a little bit of piping gel to help attach my sprinkles to the cake. Then I use the back of my paintbrush to gently press the sprinkles into the frosting so that I know that they'll stay and they won't fall off. For this cake, you only need a few sprinkles put in just the right place. And there you go! It's all done! It's amazing that such a sophisticated looking cake can be that easy to make. Thanks for watching today. If you like this video, give it a like and consider subscribing so you can see more of my videos in the future. Now don't forget, you can use this technique with any color palette and jazz it up with any sprinkles, gold leaf, silver leaf, luster dust, anything you want to create your own unique buttercream cake. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!